Hey, are you looking for even more travel gear and upgrades for your next trip? If so, this is the video for you, so be sure to hang out for a few minutes and check this stuff out. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future, and if you're watching this video, you've probably watched my huge travel EDC video that was published about a month or so before this one. If you haven't seen that one yet, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link up here so you can go take a look. Since that time, I've talked to like dozens of people in the comments. I've ordered lots of new stuff to try out, and I have even more recommendations for you to take a look at today. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the latest travel gear and gadgets, clothes, and even some other accessories that I think you'll find really interesting. So let's get things kicked off by taking a look at some more things that you can put in your travel bag. All right, so I've got a fresh batch of travel gear and gadgets and even some hacks that I picked up along the way. Uh, as always, I've kind of shopped around for you guys and I found some links and stuff. If you want to check this stuff out more or do some research on your own, be sure to check out all the links down in the description. Um, I kind of put that all in one place for you guys. But we'll just kind of start going through this stuff. Uh, first up, let's talk batteries. Now, if you remember in my other travel video, I really love this Anchor battery. It's kind of like a MagSafe attachment, which may not matter if you're on Android. Uh, but it's about a 5,000 milliamp battery. Um, it has a little stand in it, which is really cool. Uh, but man, I've got some really cool alternate options to check out today. The first is this incredible battery from Nightcore. Um, and believe it or not, and again, I'm gonna pull up that 5,000 milliamp battery I just talked about. Look at these size-wise. Very, very equivalent, the same level of thickness and everything. The difference is, I think this thing is a tiny bit lighter and it's actually 10,000 milliamps, so more than double the capacity. Uh, but this is a new option that Nikkor has put out. Uh, really, really cool. It has some carbon fiber stuff to save weight. It has USB-C and it has regular USB-A. It has a little power indicator on here where you can see how much it's charged up and everything. It does a lot of fast charging and all of that. But as far as just like a standard battery bank, that has a ton of power and is insanely light. Sometimes when you're packing, like your bag gets weighed down really quick, especially with stuff like this that you don't normally think of. This is a really great option. Uh, can charge with like a dead iPhone about twice, I think, uh, which is more than you'll probably need on any given day. You can again charge it up at the hotel at night or back in your room or whatever. Uh, but really cool option there. So if you're looking for a standard battery bank, uh, Nightcore has you covered. And I found this thing earning a top spot in my bag, even my work bag during the day. Uh, another battery option to look at here, uh, this is actually from Zippo, believe it or not. And this is a 5,000 milliamp battery, which you know does everything you'd want it to. It has just two regular USB-A ports, so no USB-C, but you can get adapters and everything. Uh, but this little thing has a superpower, and that is actually, this is a hand warmer. So if you're going to a colder climate or you just get, I don't know, cold on planes or wherever you're going, uh, this thing is totally awesome. You just press and hold the little fire button up here in the corner. And you'll see it'll begin to heat up. It has two different levels. It can heat just one side or it can actually heat both sides of the element. So depending on how much warmth you actually need, you can crank this thing up or get it to do both sides. It's got this little OLED screen on it too where you can see the levels. But immediately, even as soon as I did it for this video, it's already getting warm. Uh, just a very cool little gadget. Again, it's one of those things where if you want to pack just one thing that has dual utility, instead of having to pack a bunch of those heat warming things you normally take along, uh, this is pretty awesome to throw in a coat pocket. And for me, who gets chilly pretty easy, I love having this in my hoodie pocket on a cold day. So we're checking out from Zippo. Very cool little battery charger. So moving along, while we're talking batteries, I'm actually going to talk about these. And these are just standard batteries from Pell Blue, which if you're going anywhere, whether it's, I don't know, like a work device that you're bringing along that you need stuff for, or maybe like a gaming system or something, you may need some batteries or a controller, even like a remote in the hotel. Uh, but what makes these extra cool is not only they're rechargeable batteries, which you probably already have at home in some capacity, but these are individually rechargeable batteries that use like a little USB thing here at the top. So when you buy these, they come with this little squid cable, depending on how many you buy at a time, where you can plug these in. Uh, but what's great, again, is not having to take another separate weird charging unit. Sometimes with rechargeable, especially like AA's and AAA's, they've got like a brick or like a whole wall wart system where you have to plug that in, then you plug the batteries in. I love it that you can take something that doesn't take up any more space than the normal batteries that you would pack, but also gives you that superpower of being able to recharge those on the fly and use them as much as you need. Uh, so that is a very cool solution from Pale Blue. Um, I really, really dig having those. Again, easy to throw in your bag, which is nice. Can bail you out of all sorts of different situations. Um, let's talk about this for a second. So this is a really interesting option from Relief Band. So if you're the type of person when you go on a plane or maybe your family likes to do like high intensity kind of activities like we do, like riding roller coasters and going to theme parks, uh, my wife is actually prone to motion sickness pretty bad. So even like car sickness when we're going down windy like mountain roads or that sort of thing, uh, so this can be an absolute lifesaver. I had a friend turn me onto this, but it looks like a normal watch. You see it's got these uh, big ports here in the bottom, but what happens is you place this on your wrist. It actually has some gel you can put on there, but it actually sends small electrical waves when you turn it on. There's a little indicator. You can see how this lights up and shows the different levels. And you can keep clicking this up depending on how much 
uh, you need there, but you can change the level of the, the sensitivity and stuff for it. But what this does is send small electrical pu pulses down the nerves in your arm, which apparently targets your nausea nerve system or something, and it actually suppresses those things. So I have yet to try it with like a stunt bug or anything, but my wife says it actually worked pretty well. We went to Universal earlier this year, went to Disney World a few weeks ago, uh, where there's a lot of rides, especially screen-based rides that can normally kind of throw you for a loop. But this thing can be an absolute lifesaver in those scenarios. You just turn it on and pretty much within a few seconds you start feeling better or that motion sickness or dizziness type feeling you might get is suppressed pretty easily. So really cool. I will warn you if you pick one of these up. Now this is a relief band. Uh, it comes in a few different versions of it. I think this is like their premium version. Uh, but the charger for this does suck. <laughs> it's this little magnetic thing that sticks on and it just does not want to stay on. It has a very short cable. So uh, beware of that. But all in all, I think it's a very cool device, especially if that's something that you're prone to when you travel. That can solve a lot of problems for you. And it's very small and very easy to throw in your bag and pretty discreet too. So it just looks like a, like a Fitbit or a smartwatch or something. So people won't look at you weird when you have it on. Uh, pretty cool device to check out. Um, another thing I think is an absolute essential if you haven't picked one up yet, especially if you are an iPhone user like me, is just get an AirTag. Uh, again, this is something you probably already know about, so you may want to jump past this um, if you have one of these or are familiar with these. But if you aren't using one of these yet, this is like probably one of the cheapest things that Apple makes that will make one of the biggest differences in your lives. Um, they're about 30 bucks each. They sell a four pack for around 100. You can find them on sale on Amazon all the time. Uh, totally worth your time to pick one of these things up. I throw them in my travel bag. Um, I throw them in my checked luggage and everything, and it's nice when I'm on the plane, I can typically see where my bags are to know if they actually got on the plane. When I hop off and I'm able to turn all my connections back on again, it's the first thing I check to see if it's actually in baggage claim yet and everything. But especially if you get stuff stolen, it's easy to track it down. It's just a very small cost for a ton of insurance. We even put one of these on our cat so we could track them around outside, but totally awesome. If you're in the Apple ecosystem and haven't picked one up yet, now's the time to do it. Don't put it off any longer. Definitely get some air tags. Let's switch gears for a second and talk a few hygiene and quality of life items here. Uh, if you watched my last video, you know how much I love these Clean Freak wipes. These are big, like giant body wipes. If you're at the airport, if, it's at, if you're at the end of a day where you have a lot of sunscreen on or something, just want to scrub off really quick. Man, these are fantastic, absolutely giant, keep you clean. Uh, but let's be honest, we're all human and we all have to use the bathroom and sometimes that doesn't go all that well or you have terrible toilet paper. Uh, the same brand, the Clean Freak folks, um, I just got these in a battle box recently and I actually love these things. So these are actually toilet wipes, similar to something like a dude wipe that you may see out there, except I feel like these work a whole lot better and are actually a lot more uh, biodegradable. Uh, so they crack me up because these have a ton of different scents and everything, they come in a giant bag that gives you all sorts of different scents and stuff, which I'm not sure um, how much you want to smell like any of these things after you've used the bathroom, but uh, there you go. But check these things out. I'm gonna open one of these up. Again, throw it in your bag, um, and if you're in a situation where you don't have access to a lot of toilet paper or just need to get cleaned up a little bit more, um, these are a really good size. They're a really nice, soft material too, um, but fantastic. And But the nice thing is, I don't know if you saw that, even I'm pulling it apart, it's already breaking apart just a little bit, and so they actually are flushable. Now, I think on their packaging they say um, only flush like one of them at a time. And if you're in a place that has like a septic system or Airbnb, maybe be more careful with that. Uh, but these actually do uh, disintegrate and fall apart after you use it, uh, which is nice compared to something like a dude wipe, which I think says that it does, but it actually doesn't. There's like a whole expose online about that stuff. Um, anyway, really nice to have these. It's just a little extra layer of peace of mind, security, or maybe it's even the nasty bathroom on the airplane. Take one of these along with you. You'll feel a lot better afterwards. So again, not something people talk about a whole lot, but I think you really dig these. So check those out. Those are called the Flusher and they're from Clean Freak. And of course, if you've watched this channel for any time and seen any of my other kits, you'll probably be familiar with these things. So when you look at them, you're probably thinking, what is that? Is it like a breath mint or something like that? This is actually a super compressed towel. Uh, you can grab these on Amazon and you can get these in like, I think I got a bag of 200 that I'm still working on after like three or four years. Uh, but I throw them in absolutely everything. So again, this is just a matter of like packing really light. You don't wanna take up a lot of room with all these wipes and everything else, but you can easily throw in a few of these. It's like the size of a lifesaver or something. But all you do is take some water, which I just splashed everywhere by the way, and take your tablet and maybe just have like a bottle of water with you or just the water they give you in the plane. Um, you can just look, pour a little thing on there or submerge it for a second and you get this little wipe here. I'm sure I squeezed some of the water out of this off camera, uh, but you get this surprisingly great uh, little towel that's great for just cleaning up, cleaning your hands, get some grime off stuff and everything. But it's really easy to pack a ton of these things in a really small space. You don't have to worry about them drying out because you're supplying the moisture. 
Uh, these are great, surprisingly strong uh, little cleanup towels, which I'm actually going to use right now to clean up the mess that just dripped on here. But again, really affordable, fun to have. Throw those in your kit. You won't regret it. Speaking of regrets, have you ever been somewhere and drank water that you shouldn't drink? It will ruin your entire trip. It'll mess up your stomach and just leave you not feeling right for a long time. It's no fun at all. Uh, this is an upgrade that's a total game changer. So I don't know if you've seen these before. It just looks like to me any other plastic water bottle. You got your little um, hanger at the top. You got your little screw cap up here. Uh, but this is like a super awesome water filtering bottle from Grail. This is their Ultra Press. They also have like a Geo Press and several different versions, so you can get it in a few different sizes. Uh, but not only are these a great survival tool, I have these in a few of my kits and everything, but these are an unbelievable travel tool, especially if you're going somewhere where the water's questionable or you don't know how clean it's going to be, or even if you're like doing more of an outdoorsy trip, definitely take this. If you're going overseas, there's something about the different stuff in the water in different places you live where you can get sick just going somewhere, even if the water's fine. Um, just the stuff in that may be different than what you're used to drinking at home that can make you sick. Anyway, long story short, this very normal looking water bottle has a big trick up its sleeve, and that is this incredible um, press powered water filter here at the bottom. These are totally replaceable. I think each cartridge, when you pop it off, I think each of these filters like, I don't know, like hundreds of gallons of water or something, or like 300 total presses. I believe this whole thing, the Ultra Press here, is 18 ounces. But you scoop up your water or pour it out of the tap or whatever, make sure your cap's opened up a little bit to let the air out. Then all you do is just press the top in. And what will happen is that dirty water or just clean looking water will go through that filter 100% and then everything you have in your bottle here for the rest of the day is totally drinkable, super clean. It filters out like 99.999% of like viruses and microbes and basically anything that's gonna make you sick. Um, unbelievably great tool. Um, a little bit of peace of mind too, if you're traveling, you always wanna feel good, you always wanna drink water without wondering what's gonna do to you. Um, total game changer, maybe a lifesaver, I don't know. Grail, pick one of those up. Um, a little pricey, but I think worth it, especially if you think you'll use it often. All right, moving along, let's talk about some fun stuff here. And I have these awesome controllers from Backbone. So uh, if you're a little bit of a nerd like I am, a lot of the ways you may kill time at the airport or when you're traveling and hanging out at the Airbnb is playing some games um, and maybe you have like a dedicated system or maybe you like to take some of that stuff along, but that can weigh you down, especially if you're trying to do one bag travel. Um, I think this is actually a really great solution. So these controllers are Super great. All you do is take your phone. By the way, these work with both lightning adapters and USB-C. The new iPhone 15s have USB-C, so I got the USB-C version here. But you just take your phone, you stretch out the controller, and then the controller will simply pop in your adapter and you're good to go. And basically what this does is instead of having to use the absolutely terrible touch controls that tend to go with phone games, uh, you have a full Xbox or PlayStation style controller. Um, at your fingertips, which is just fantastic. Listen on your headphones, you can take screenshots and do all that stuff, but you have uh, a ton of games out there that actually support these types of things now. And it's actually really secure. It holds things in really well. Come in a few different styles. You can get PlayStation style buttons if that's what you're used to playing with at home. Um, my wife tends to use this one. Um, and I also use Xbox Game Pass, so their cloud gaming stuff works awesome with this. Backbone also offers some extra features if you subscribe to their app, which is worth checking out. Uh, most phones these days are actually super powerful. You can even play like Resident Evil 4 and all these things now. Um, a really good solution uh, that is a huge upgrade you play games at all like on the plane and everything so check that out backbone's really cool i think you'll dig it i know i do all right so in my one bag travel video you remember me mentioning like some compressible backpacks and a duffel bag um, but i wanted to give you a recommendation for something a little bit smaller so maybe you're taking that full-size backpack or like a roller board and when you get to where you're going you still want something to walk around town with or do some exploring with but you don't want to lug something heavy around all day uh, this Patagonia black hole sling is just about the best thing I've come across. I picked this up on Huckberry earlier this summer, and man, I dig this thing. You can wear it like a, a waist pack if you're super cool that way. You can wear it like a sling, which seems to be like the most common way to wear these now. Um, but lots of room for just about everything you need. You can throw like your whole kit, even your phone and stuff in here. If you want to keep your pockets light and maybe a little bit more pickpocket proof, by the way, it's harder to go right, right in your chest and grab stuff out of there. So it's probably a pretty good idea. It's got a little bit of padding here in the back. And the coolest thing is you can also flip this thing inside out and compress the whole thing into its whole uh, front pocket here. So a great solution, a bag to throw in your bag um, to take when you go out. Um, really dig that. Um, another thing I got a lot of questions about last time was building a first aid kit to take with you. Um, you saw mine was kind of homemade. I had a few different things mixed in from a bunch of different scenarios. If you want like a one-stop shop to get all that without going through the effort of trying to build that yourself, I'd recommend picking something up from my medic. So this is their pocket first aid kit, um, which has a whole host of stuff. You can see like an overview of all that in their card. 
has a nice container. Again, you can take the step out and make it a little bit smaller if you wanted to for some reason. But you get this kind of nice water resistant container here and just a ton of stuff. There's a downloadable first aid guide, but you got your antibiotic stuff. You got mini meds and everything. You got burn gel, you got all sorts of band-aids. Um, you've got blister strips, topical ointments, electrolytes, and all sorts of other things packed into one kit. Um, if you want to build one yourself too, they break all that stuff out to what they call mods. So you can purchase just what you need, or you can add a few extra things to this. But as far as a one-stop shop goes for building out a first aid kit, I think they're probably the best option out there. And their stuff, by the way, is a lot better quality, like the cheapo stuff you'd pick out at Walmart or a department store. And it's honestly about the same price when you factor all the things together. So my medic makes super cool stuff. Check them out if you're looking to build a first aid kit. Okay, last but not least, I want to share two of the biggest travel hacks I've discovered over the last year. And I think you'll really dig these things. Both of these are really low cost, but will make a huge difference in your travel experience. Uh, the first of those is the Flighty app. So if you want to pause this video, if you have an iPhone, this is only an iPhone thing. So I'm sorry if you're an Android person, but um, you can scan this code right here and it'll take you right to the app store. But man, this app, if you fly at all, is almost an absolute necessity. My wife and I had a scenario earlier this summer. We were going on an anniversary trip. Long story short, it was delayed and we had to wait around hours and hours, caused all sorts of issues. Uh, but basically what this app is almost a cheat code to flying. You get delay notifications before the airline will even tell you. Um, it tells you exactly where your plane is on a flight path and when you can expect it, what type of plane it is, how long it's been in service. Just gives you all and all of these stats. If you're using one of the newer iPhones, they have the dynamic island area up at the top. It'll constantly give you a notification about three hours before your flight, uh, what gate you need to walk to when you're going to the airport, how much time it is to board. Um, and even if you're using a plane that has Wi-Fi where you can only text and everything, you still get these notification updates that will tell you even before you land where your baggage claim is going to be. Um, just an unbelievable app while we're checking out. And they even give you the pro version for free for your first flight. And if you're like a once a year flyer, that may be all you need. Jump in, get that. Um, and just try it out. But I'm telling you, if you fly at all, it makes that experience a thousand times better. Uh, can't recommend that enough. Maybe they'll do an Android app at some point, but Flyd right now is probably one of the best travel apps I've ever used. So definitely check that out. Um, and then last but not least, probably one of my favorite travel hacks of all time is something somebody at work introduced me to. So this is one of Chase's most well-known travel credit cards, which is the Sapphire Preferred. You can also get the Sapphire Reserved if you want to pay more and get more features. Uh, but man, this thing is like, gives you all these things you absolutely want to have when you travel. Travel insurance, discounts, rental car insurance. It's like all that built into a card. Uh, plus, I travel free almost nonstop by using this stuff. So a key thing here I want to tell you, like, we don't use credit cards at all or leave balances on them. We pay this stuff off every month. So if you're a financial person, no, that's not what I'm recommending to here is to go get in a bunch of debt but absolutely would go sign up for these. I'm gonna leave links for you down in the description. Go check that out right now, because typically what you can do is sign up for this, spend money that you're gonna spend anyway over the course of a month, and you're gonna get a ton of travel benefits and points that you can use for flights and hotels and everything else. Just sign up for this one card right here. If you time it right, it can get you over $2,000 in free hotel stays. It's just nuts. You can use your points in almost everything. I actually wrote an article on this that I'll link to in the description and I'll try to put up here on top of the video. Uh, but basically you get this card, you kind of jump in the ecosystem here. And I've got a few other cards I use alongside of this. Again, I just jumped in and did all their initial rewards to get that stuff. And then just any spending that we have, I use each of these to pay for over time and just rack up points but an unbelievable way to get free flights and everything else. Definitely worth your time. Go check out the article. I think it's a total game changer. And by the way, if you're a Southwest person, I also recommend their Southwest card. Uh, it takes no time at all to get their little companion pass thing. So if you travel with your wife or significant other or anything else or kids, uh, it's an easy way to get buy one, get one flights for like two years. Again, you're not spending anything. You're just spending money you already spend. Um, it's really easy to take advantage of these programs. So cannot recommend that enough definitely check those things out. So those are my picks this time around for stuff to take with you and some travel hacks to get you there. Let's go take a look at some other travel essentials. Okay, let's talk about clothes. And this is a category that of course is gonna be personal to everybody, but I wanna give you a bunch of options in this video because honestly, there's been a lot of innovation in travel clothes the last few years. That's kind of what I'm gonna go over today. I've got some stuff in a bunch of different categories. Uh, let's kick things off with shirts. And we'll start with merino wool because this is a category that I feel like if you watch any YouTube about travel packing at all, everybody's all about merino. And kind of the big brand out there is probably Unbound Merino. So I've been checking out a lot of their stuff this month. Uh, so this is one of their merino wool t-shirts which again is kind of like a staple when you're going anywhere you're probably gonna have a t-shirt it's useful for layering and everything else but man these are super comfy super soft but it just feels kind of like a regular t-shirt kind of a, a light to mid-weight 
uh, fits really well, I feel like. Um, not scratchy at all. Now, some people are really sensitive to stuff and claim that anything Merino will scratch them. These feel really comfortable to me. Uh, but as far as like a layering essential goes, uh, these are worth their weight in gold. Unbound has a ton of options on the website. They're one of the few brands I've found online that like lists exactly the type of merino they put in their products. A good first option for shirts. If merino is not your thing, then I would recommend checking out one of these X cotton shirts from Western Rise. Uh, so you may know Western Rise. I feel like I saw them first on Instagram ads when I was getting into travel stuff. That was like the ad that popped up all the time. Uh, but man, they got some really cool stuff. We're gonna check out a pair of their pants here in a minute. But these are their X cotton tees, which is a little bit like what you sound like, a traditional, just really well-made, kind of a mid-weight cotton t-shirt. But it's like cotton with some secret ingredients. Not only do these fit great, have an awesome hemline at the bottom, very stretchy too, which is nice, uh, very comfortable, not like super tight and athletic, but also not big and baggy, they're just right. But they've got somehow like some odor resistant element woven into these as well. I think it's like silver based or something, but you get kind of that extra ability that typically only comes with merino, but also with cotton. Now, I don't think it resists odor quite as well as the merino stuff would, but I feel like these can definitely go a few days before I feel like I have to throw them in the washer. I just really, really like the fit of these. And they're also more affordable than the merino stuff you wear out there. And just because it's cotton, I think it's something you may wear a little bit more often, not just when you're traveling. So let's check out two more quick options. Okay, so this is from American Giant, which you may be familiar with if you watch my fall EDC video. And if not, go check that out. I'll put a link up here. These guys are known for making one of the best hoodies out there. They also make super nice American-made t-shirts. Uh, so this is their premium slub tee. Um, it's just made of a simple high quality slub cotton, but man, these things fit great. Uh, they pack really well. In my experience, they resist wrinkles really well, but because of the texture of these shirts themselves, if you get some wrinkles in them, it almost just kind of makes them look better. Uh, they got already like a little bit of a texture that's almost like really nice looking imperfections all throughout the cotton anyway. Uh, but I really dig these, a little bit more of a heavyweight fit. But if you don't feel like you need some of the superpowers that the other shirts I mentioned have, these are an awesome all-around tee and kind of a go-to just for layering and just general everyday life wear and everything. So a really good option there. Hey, if comfort's what you're looking for, then I have one last option to check out. And of course it's from Viore, which makes like the softest stuff on the planet. So let me grab that real quick. So this is one of Viore's Ponto Performance long sleeve tees. I uh, found these on Huckberry. Uh, but again, Viore stuff, I mentioned their pants in my last video. It's a little bit pricey. They're kind of like one of those Lululemon-like style athleisure brands. But <laughs> I've joked with my wife before, my goal is to eventually transform my entire wardrobe to nothing but Viore stuff because it is ludicrously soft. Uh, but anyway, if you're looking for like a long sleeve option, something to layer with, something where you know you're going to be spending a long time in layovers and just want to be comfortable, this is like pajamas I feel like that actually like looks good. Um, again, it resists wrinkles really well. It doesn't get more comfortable than these. It's a good layering option. Uh, fits nice, has kind of a nice athletic fit and everything. So if you're looking for t-shirts and layering stuff to pack for your next trip, I think those are four great options for you. Uh, but let's talk about the next category I wanted to cover today, and that's pants. So strangely, this may have been the category that I had the most questions about and recommendations for stuff and everything. So I've got four options here for you guys to check out today. The first of those is something that should probably be a staple in just about everybody's closet, and that's these Flint and Tender 365 pants. Uh, these are all over Huckberry. I feel like one of the most famous clothing items on the internet, but for good reason. Um, if you're going somewhere, again, you don't want to take a ton of options with you, but I feel like these things are good for just about anything. Very comfortable, um, are flattering on just about everybody, um, have typical jean features, good pockets, a good cut, even have a fifth pocket on them and everything. Uh, but they're kind of like, think of like your most comfortable maybe pair of khakis that you have. Um, but a little bit more resistant to stuff, uh, fight wrinkles quite a bit, a little, little bit stretchy, got a little bit of give to them and everything, but just super, super comfortable. And again, versatile so they can match just about anything. So if you don't already have a pair of those, go grab you some. They come in like <laughs> 20 different colors or something, lots of different cuts, just about every size out there. Really kind of like they're branded as a pant for pretty much every day, but also great for traveling. So that's option number one. Another great everyday option is Proof's Rover Pant. Uh, they also have these on Huckberry. It come in a few different cuts, and I think like five different colors for these. Uh, but kind of similar to the 365 pant in some way, but it's more of like a canvas feel instead. It's almost like a uh, jean material that uh, wears like khakis, uh, which I really dig. Uh, but these, I feel like if you're the kind of person that's gonna go traveling, but also have a little bit of adventures, get out there and maybe hike, or just, I don't know, be a little bit more active than just being in like a few restaurants or lounges or that sort of thing. These might be the best fit for you. They have a gusseted crotch, which is nice. So a huge range of motion and a lot of flexibility. Again, great pockets, very comfortable, deep pockets too, uh, which is nice. They have a seam on the back of the leg, which just aids uh, to the flexibility you have when you wear these. Uh, but one thing I really like is they have this giant fifth pocket on the front. 
um, that you can put some extra gear in. Uh, so not quite big enough for a phone, but maybe if you have a smaller wallet, that's a good fit for that. Anyway, I like these. Again, they wear, they can match just about anything. So if we're taking just one or two pairs of pants, uh, these are another great fit. Let's talk about two pairs of pants though that are actually built for travelers. Uh, the first of those is from Western Rise. So these are the Western Rise Evolution 2.0 pants, which are kind of, I feel like, internet legendary. If you search for travel pants online, I feel like this is one of the options that comes up the most. I picked up two pairs of these, so I got kind of a, a navy option and a black option, which for me covers all my bases. But these have lots of really interesting travel-oriented features. Uh, again, they kind of have that classical jean cut. Uh, but wear a little bit more, almost the material looks a little bit more like a, a nice pair of slacks, but it's extremely durable, very stretchy, extremely light. So stretchy and light, that's a big deal. Uh, water resistant or phobic or whatever you call that. Uh, really nice pockets throughout. They have, if you look at the back here, they actually have a very well hidden uh, pocket for, you know, if you need to hide your wallet or somewhere where it's zipped up and safe, you've got an extra option for that, but you can't see it when you're just wearing the pants, which is really nice. I can fit almost my entire hand uh, down in this fifth pocket in the front, which is again, great for a travel wallet or documents or putting your phone in there. Uh, but these are super comfortable, very flexible, good for any circumstance. Overall, an awesome option to look at, especially if you're looking for a pant that's totally engineered for travel. And one final option here, if you wanna go all out on the merino wool train, is these awesome pants from, again, Unbound Merino. They make a super nice travel pant. They have a lot of the same features and abilities as some of the other pants I mentioned here. Uh, really nice fit, uh, really great look. Probably look more tailored than just about anything else, but also still surprisingly flexible and comfortable. They also have a gusseted crotch, which is nice. Uh, if you flip them around back, they also have this little hidden secret security pocket with a zipper, which again is great for stashing wallets and things like that. But what these have that none of the others do is everything that comes with being made from merino wool. So pretty wrinkle resistant, uh, really doesn't need to be washed all that often. And again, really, really resist odors. So you may actually be able to go on a trip five days or less. Again, merino wool lasts a long time and not get any weird smells, not get anything on these and just take one pair of pants, which would be totally awesome. Uh, again, love the fit of these things. The only thing I don't really like, I feel like these pockets are just a little bit tight when I put my hands in when I'm standing up. That's a small thing to complain about. So again, Unbound Merino comes in clutch. Uh, this is a really good option to hear. And really any of the pairs of pants we talked about today are totally worth checking out. Okay, let's talk outerwear and layering real quick. Now you guys seem to really like those options from Proof I showed in the last video. So definitely go check those out if you haven't already. But I've got two more things to look at really quick today. The first is this really lightweight puffer jacket from Patagonia. This is one of their nano puff jackets. Comes in a bunch of different colors. Comes in a hooded option everything too. I picked this up at Huckberry, but if you're looking for a jacket that maybe has a little bit more of a technical use or feel than that shirt jacket I showed in the previous video, these are great options. I feel like these look good on just about everybody. They're extremely thin, which is unusual for puffer jackets. A lot of times the big down ones and everything kind of stick out, uh, but these are actually pretty flattering, a nice athletic cut and stuff, but unbelievably light has a DWR finish on it, made with all sorts of ethically sourced materials and everything, uh, but it can also still pack down really light to its interior pockets. So a really great option to pack and take along unless you're going to like the Arctic Tundra or somewhere or something. But if you're looking for more of like a hoodie, you might be able to get by with packing one of your go-tos from home. But again, that sort of fabric holds on to smells and stuff real easy and probably you wouldn't get one or two days out of it wear-wise. But Unbound Merino to the rescue again. So this is kind of, I think a newer option that they have um, this is a 100% merino wool hoodie uh, that's kind of mid-weight. Uh, to me, almost fits a little bit more like a cardigan. It's very stretchy, very form-fitting, and kind of fits close to your torso. All I got this one all black. I think they have a few other color options and stuff as well. Uh, but unbelievably comfortable, again. Uh, has all those merino superpowers. Again, doesn't tend to wrinkle, packs up really small, rolls up easy. Uh, just about the perfect layering thing. Even if you're taking another jacket too, having something like this that you can throw on the plane and the airport, uh, when you go out and just kind of like a crisp night um, is really, really nice to have. Again, Unbound stuff is awesome. So really, really dig this hoodie. Love that puffer jacket too. But let's take a look at one more category before we wrap up the clothes section here. And that's socks and shoes. So socks are one of those things that I always feel like I end up packing like 10 pairs of and I typically only wear like half of those. But again, that's probably the part of your body that gets like hit the hardest when you're walking around town and it ends up just frankly smelling and stuff the most. So uh, from Western Rise, they make these awesome merino wool socks. I picked these up at the same time uh, when I picked up those Evolution pants that we talked about earlier. But man, these things are total game changers. Uh, merino wool, which means they don't stink, uh, which is really nice. Also, you can probably get away, as gross as it sounds, with maybe just wearing one or two pairs of socks for like a five or seven day trip. I looked at a few of the merino wool uh, sock options out there. 
Uh, but these are the ones, talking to you guys, I feel like we're recommending the most. So thanks for that, really dig these. Uh, but they're really great when you pair them with this pair of shoes. And that is these outdoor kind of focused sneakers from Limbs, a really cool brand out of Boulder, Colorado. I found these on Huckberry. The reason why I like these, uh, I feel like, especially if you get it in a colorway, they have some really cool colorways too. But if you get to something a little bit more neutral, you can wear these with just about anything on your trip, which is great. Uh, but they have a weird level of cushioning in them that just feels different from a typical sneaker. I find that my feet hold up really well in these during the day, uh, but these are also very, very flexible and very bendy. If you feel like you're going on a trip where you're gonna be doing a little bit more active stuff, these are a great option more than just like your flat, typical sneaker that you would take. Really grippy and stuff, made with really great materials. If you have a more outdoorsy bent like I do, be sure to check out Limb stuff. Uh, really cool shoes I think you'll really enjoy. All right, so that's all the gear I've got for you today. Hey, if you wanna pick up any of this stuff for yourself, I've done the best I could kind of going around the internet and shopping around, trying to find the best prices for you guys. So you can find links for everything in the description down below. When you purchase through those, it helps the channel out too. So thanks for doing that. I hope you found some cool stuff in this. If you have recommendations for me, send me a message, leave me a comment. I love to read your feedback, hear your thoughts, and hey, even get some ideas from my next trip too. So be sure to let me know about that stuff. So that's it for this video. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you next time.